Good morning Destiny players and welcome to a new build video for the channel, this time on the Hunter class. I am a Hunter main after all. I am Bladeburger, your local Drifter's little pog champ, and don't forget to do the stuff that the YouTube gods like you to do. Apologies for no uploads for almost three weeks. It's uh, It's been a busy holiday season and I'm working on content for a second channel. We resume our regularly, almost regularly scheduled burger posting. Let's get into the build. Everyone and their mother has been over the moon with Polaris Lance and Celestio Nighthawk lately, so I decided to finally take a look at him. Did I watch any of said content creators' videos? Nah. This build is designed to work in the highest levels of content and deal with a lot of champions by forcibly removing them from existence. Let's take a look at the two pieces that make this machine go burr. The Polaris Lance is an exotic scout rifle released like 30 years ago or something. Precision hits return a bullet to the mag, and hitting four in quick succession loads a higher damage bullet that applies scorch. A lot of scorch. 40, in fact, 60 with that one ember. The weapon also has Zen Moment, granting extra stability on damage, and Dragonfly, making an explosion when you get a precision kill. Doesn't apply Scorch, sadly. The safest precision weapon out there, and even stronger with artifact mods. A supposed stasis focused artifact has a lot of goodies for solar, that's why every video of this season has been solar and not stasis. The second piece to this Greg Tech New Horizons abomination is the newly buffed Celestial Nighthawk helmet. It allows precision kills to give extra super energy, as well as makes Golden Gun shoot one bullet that does a lot more damage than the three bullets combined. Enemies killed by the bullet explode and give a whopping 33% super energy back. The bullet's damage stacks with radium by the way, and kinetic surges, but only two, not three. For the class stuff, we're on Solar Hunter obviously, love me some Solar Hunter. Marksman Golden Gun as a super of choice for big damage. For dodge, Acrobat's dodge, giving us a nearby ally's radiant, increasing damage. For throwing knife, you can use whatever, I use knife trick. For grenade, healing grenade is too good to not use, use that. For aspects, on your mark. Precision kills give you a nearby ally's weapon handling and reload speed for some time. Stacks up to 3 times, and dodging gives you max stacks. We also have Knock Him Down, which buffs our super to give longer duration to line up the shot. It also does something with throwing knives, but we don't really need that for this build. For Fragments, Ember of Singeing. Your class ability comes back quicker when you scorch enemies. Our main weapon scorches, Synergy. Ember of Eruption, solo ignitions you cause explode bigger. Ember of Wonder, the flex fragment that can be swamped if you want. Multi kills with ignitions makes an overpower. Ember of Char, solar ignitions spread scorch to others. Ember of Ashes, you apply more Scorch stacks, works with Polaris Lance, and causes two of the special bullets from it to make it ignition. Pretty neat. For stats, I prioritize Intellect and Resilience to get our super as fast as possible, and to not die. Champions are everywhere in GMs, and you need the Goldie fast. For other weapons, I use a Deliverance with Chill Clips since I don't have a God Roll Riptide. And now, to the mods and artifact perks. This build is search based, but doesn't overdo it like I have my other builds. It tries to mediate surges with other utility mods that would be used in general combat instead of just spamming surges. Let's get into it. On Helmet, Harmonic Siphon. Multi kills with weapons matching your subclass type make an aura power. Wahoo! We also have Heavy Ammo Finder and Scout, allowing kills to increase the drop chance of Heavy, higher chance with exotic primaries, and allows Heavy to also drop a little bit of Heavy Ammo as a treat for our allies. On Arms, Heavy Handed just in case, makes orbs on power melee kills. 10 second cooldown, which uh, should be reverted, there should be no cooldown. We also have double impact induction, giving us grenade energy on melee damage. On chest, triple resist mods. Yeah. On boots, we have a surge for solar and a surge for kinetic. Gain 10% weapon damage for the type for 10 seconds while we have an armor charge. But why kinetic? It's interesting because golden gun gets buffed by kinetic surges somehow, but only up to two kinetic surges, not three. It bugs out of three. We also have better already, giving health regen on orb pickup. On class item, bomber, giving grenade energy on dodge. We also have time dilation, setting our surge timer to 15 seconds while we have an armor charge. We also have reaper, allowing the first weapon kill after a dodge to make an aura power. For artifact perks, kindling trigger, while radiant, solar weapons deal scorch to unscorched enemies. Flint striker, the all star here. Rapid Solar Precision hits or kills gives you Radiant. Heart of the Flame. Gain bonus solar super damage for each nearby ally when you cast your super. The allies also get Radiant. Revitalizing Blast. Solar ability damage weakens enemies. So there's the mods and perks, and now here's the overview. Study it, learn the mods, copy the dim link in the description, subscribe to my second channel where the link is in the description. You know the drill. Now, let's get to how this build plays. This build is very strong. Passive, but strong. It plays like my collective obligation build of old, a weapon build that has lower actions permitted to it, but has a lot of power. 
It relies on the strength of Polaris Lance to do the work with Celestial for champions, mini bosses, or that one dragon, the EDZ, who really, really deserves it. He called your mother fat. You can get your super back really quick with this build, as Polaris Lance is king for precision kills. You can have essentially infinite mag size with it if all your shots are precision. Surprisingly good for DPS too, since it causes a lot of ignitions and you won't have to reload it. Also can stun unstoppables and benefits from anti-barrier if you have radiant or if there's anti-barrier scout. It's the holidays here, so I have yet to do a GM, but this is absolutely the build that I will take into GMs. This orb, Banner of War. Banner of War is pretty busted still, it should be nerfed. Celestial got a bonus 25% damage buff this season on top of the exotic changes, so it can reliably one-shot a lot of champions throughout the game and do huge damage to anything that moves. The artifact perks this season are just the gravy on top of this delicious ham. They make Polaris Lance even stronger than it already was, able to ignite enemies with very little effort, stunning on subwalls, and doing big damage to everything else. If you want to see more of Blade Burger, a link to my second channel, Bedrock Burger, is in the description with the first upload coming soon, Minecraft. Thank you all for watching, see you all in the next one, join my Discord, Blade Burger out.